exactly. Sailing has changed my life. It's really easy for me to see the vast differences between my life before sailing and my life now because I only started sailing four and a half years ago. I joined Pittsburgh's high school sailing team in the spring of my freshman year after taking one of those week-long crash courses on 420s in the summer and just really falling in love. Sailing also came into my life at a really interesting time because as much as I was seeking to get into the sailing world, I was also desperately trying to get out of the soccer world. Because instead of spending my summers growing up on the water, practically living out of an opti like so many of my sailor friends did, I spent years 5 through 14 on the soccer field. And as much as I loved soccer, I never really got into that community. And as sailors of all people will tell you best, community is what makes it all worthwhile. I ended up in the boat with Linny, who, if you don't know her, is tough as nails, and while she probably wasn't as mean as I remember her being to me those first few weeks, she was certainly intimidating. As much as I wanted to give up during that first month, something kept me going, and thank God it did. I guess what I learned from that particular season was that if you're planning on trying something new, there's no sense in wasting time dipping your toes in the water for a while. i just dive, just dive in head first. That season, I got to sail with some of the best sailors that had ever come through the Pittsburgh program, travel to more regattas than I got to for the rest of my high school career, and the first form of racing I was ever taught was team racing. Thanks to sailing, I was more confident and outgoing than I had ever been. I had taken on leadership and volunteer positions that I never would have if not for the initial encouragement slash being forced to by powerhouses like Olivia Graham and Julia Gardner. I had a new sense of patience and compassion needed to teach that I learned from both being the newcomer and being thrown in the boat with newcomers and expected to show them the ropes. And aside from all of that, I had found myself with one of the most supportive communities around at my back. These are all things that I wouldn't trade for the world, and things that I actually notice myself relying on on a daily basis. But the truth is that sailing pushed me to be the best possible version of myself, and that right there is all the difference. Sailing taught me that if you want something, you've got to put in the hours. Sailing taught me how to be a leader. It taught me the importance of friends and community. It taught me that there's nothing better than sitting around in your gear with your team eating a hot meal after a long day of racing. I'm telling you all this because every young sailor on the high school team has a story like this. And when it comes to Rochester youth sailors, each of these stories has been touched by the support of the Rochester Community Boating Foundation. By supporting RCB, you literally make these stories possible. Kids can tell their stories. This new fleet of boats will allow an incredible high school program to function at the highest level possible and prepare its sailors for the crazy world of sailing they still have ahead of them. Not to mention, there are plenty of kids who may have dreams of sailing, but may not have the financial means to get out on the water. Your support of the Rochester Community Boating Foundation will help them, too, through scholarships, grants, clinics, and more. So thank you personally, Rochester Community Boating, and thank you, Rochester Yacht Club, and thank you all for having me come talk. Have a good night.